up guys, it's Thurston Craft here and today we are going to be talking about Five Nights at Freddy's and more um, detailed Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So today, so just today, something very interesting happened on Scott's website. He has updated the image on his website to show this really, really weird anim like st strange new animatronic holding Freddy's hat. And the text, and the simple text saying, um, the final chapter, and this pretty much confirms that the game will be really, and below it it says, 10, 31, 15. And it, yeah, this guys, this pretty much confirms the game will be released on the, on the 31st of, um, of October, or more precisely, it will be released on Halloween. Now, this could always just be one of Scott's funny tricks, like what he did with us with Five Nights at Freddy's 3. You know how he advertised it all, that everything was going to be released on Christmas, and he did all this heavy advertising, like, you know, Five Nights at Santa's Freddy's, uh, you know, you know, you know, smells on the fabulous. So, anyway, um, all that junk, he could, always, he could easily just be tricking us into something. Um, but yeah, we know the game is coming out. The game has been officially confirmed. You may have heard the video on my old channel. Um, but yeah, guys, it's official. The Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is confirmed. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty dang excited for this. And I really hope that we'll be able to, uh, play it soon. But if it's actually going to take that long to create this game, I think it's going to be like, like, uh, I don't know, like the grandfather of all of all of gaming. I think uh, I think Mr. PewDiePie over here is also pretty excited. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna talk about who I think this character might be. First of all, it's um, we already know he uses the spring lock mechanism as he looks um, very similar to a human, and he, in a way, he actually kind of acts like a human. And we, uh, we don't we don't know that much yet, but. Um, he looks, it's pretty much confirmed someone's inside of him, and it's also pretty much confirmed that they actually live inside of him. We know that this is because his eyes don't glow, and he's, the way he's holding his hat is, is in a very human-like way. And it would be strange for them to build a human, it would, it would be strange for them to build, um, a human, an, an animatronic. I said build. I said I said build a human. Uh, it would be weird for them to build an animatronic um, for it to act like a human. I mean, this stuff, this stuff isn't supposed to be like that. So anyway, it is very possible that this will probably be like the best game so far. It's most likely going to run on the 3D engine that we saw with um, the third game. It's most likely going to be the same thing that we saw with Five Nights Three, but. Um, I'm guessing that a trailer will actually be released sometime, um, I don't really know exactly, but I'm guessing a trailer will be released sometime in, uh, June or July or so, sometime, uh, or maybe even sometime next month, but we really just don't know, because, um, he, yeah, so, it's also, I'm also gonna relate to something PewDiePie said in one of his videos where, um, he noticed that, um, all the Five Nights at Freddy's games are released 87 days apart, so maybe this game might fall. And um, we know that Scott did not follow this pattern, as uh, as, as uh, Pewd theorized that the game would be. Um, let me think. He theorized that Five Nights that Five Nights Three will be released on February 5th, and this and this theory actually got a lot of popularity, but. Um, Scott debunked the theory later on, and he and he said it would be released much later, and it ended up being released on March on March second. Um, but it was released on it was, but it was released to March third, much later. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool, and I think that we could definitely, or he could uh, try something else and not release it then, but he could be releasing it on April fourth. Eh, eh, people, see what I did there? <laughs> Guys, see what I did there? Uh, April 4th, 4-4-15, eh, nah, 4-4-16, eh, guys, see what I did there? Hey, hey, guys, see what I did there? Oh, and anyway, uh, yeah, so, it's very possible that that is actually what he's gonna be doing, but anyway, 
So anyway, maybe we could actually be playing in Fred Bear's family diner, and I see this as a complete possibility because he's using the spring lock mechanism. Or it's possible that there's actually a secret third character that we were that we never even knew about. I think this could also relate to the EEA to EE puzzle that we were struggling over for a while. Um, also, if you check the URL on Scott's website, there's a bunch of eights and sevens in it. Uh, same within the source code. This is most likely a reference to the bite of 87, and maybe this character, he has such sharp teeth, I could easily see he, he biting the frontal lobe off. I could easily see him biting the frontal lobe off of a kid. I could easily see that happen. So it's definitely a possibility that this character is actually um, Fredbear. So yeah, guys, let's put our tinfoil hats on and begin thinking of ideas. Um, I'm really curious on who this guy is. I mean, he could be Fredbear. Maybe Golden Freddy is actually not Fredbear. Maybe he's actually a secret character. Maybe he's actually Fredbear. If he's Fredbear, we will be introduced to both of the Fredbear's Family Diner era uh, characters. And like I said, we may even be playing in Fredbear's or we may be playing in a rebuilt Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Also, my friend, um, after the after fires, after the news about it burning down, he was like, it's gone. I mean, the whole thing, it's just gone. Building's gone. Everything's gone. He thinks the whole thing was gone, but of course he was r r wrong. So this video was also made as um, another video to kind of forward something else I was talking about, which you may have remembered. This video called Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Confirmed. And I can confirm it for real this time. So I can kind of forget all about that video. I may even delete it, but hey, um, Dad, you better not be listening. So anyway, um, anyway, that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, hey, that's some good news. So yeah, guys, like I said, let's just get our tinfoil hats on and begin thinking of ideas. Or he could be like a Springtrap character. He could be like Springtrap Freddy or something. You know how there's phantom characters? Maybe there could be like Springtrap versions where they look like Springtrap or something. But maybe this could actually be Freddy. Maybe this could be like some sort of Frankenstein Freddy. You know what I mean there? So anyway, maybe this guy could actually be um, like a Frankenstein Freddy kind of thing. Like maybe the souls after the fire was after the fire was burned maybe because remember that building was renovated so maybe the souls are actually may have actually escaped and believe me i see that as a definite possibility so maybe the souls escaped and maybe they're actually going to take the form of animatronic characters and come back to haunt the new location but as we all know if you get the good ending they're released into the afterlife but let's but it's secret, so everyone, if they don't know about that, they'll obviously get the bad ending. So it's more than likely that they're that they've escaped and they've like possessed more animatronic dudes or something. Um, and the big question is that who is that? How the is is where is wh I mean where the is puppet? And maybe he could be involved somehow in the weird animatronic. I mean, maybe he is actually possessed an actual character. Maybe that's what he's, maybe that's what he's done. So yeah, that's my theory, is that he could actually do that. I mean, this is, I mean, that would um, be rendered as something completely new that we've actually never even heard of, but I see that as actually a definite possibility that Puppet has actually found a way out to create his very own characters or something. Because, I mean, that's definitely a possibility from what I said earlier. It's definitely a possibility. So, yeah, guys. I seriously think that um, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is going to be a blast. Also, if you brighten up the image on, on his website, you're actually going to notice that it says Nightmare on it. So, maybe it's going to be probably the scariest game out of all of them. Maybe he's going to add in some, like, new cool graphics or something. But yeah, that's definitely possible. Also, I've been theorizing a lot ever since the trailer was released. I've always been like wondering. So, it says the final chapter, and this pretty much confirms that this will be the last Five Nights at Freddy's game. 
Hopefully we can convince Scott that this isn't the last game. Um, and hopefully we'll be seeing another game. I mean, I love for that to happen. And I really hope that's even real or even realistic or what you might call it. But I definitely see that as a possibility. And hopefully he's going to make another game for us. And hopefully he's going to keep making these games until his last days on Earth. So, um... There was also this joke that he made, that somebody put up on a gaming website where it said Five Nights at Freddy's 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 accidentally released on Steam. I can officially disprove this. I searched Five Nights at Freddy's 4 gameplay and I got nothing. I searched the exact same article on like AL Search. I searched it on Yahoo, Bing, Ask, all the big search engines, and I got nothing. I even, so really, I can easily disprove of this as it is 100% fake. So I'm sorry to all those who really wanted to play the new ones, but I'm sorry guys, but it is officially fake. I also searched it on YouTube and that was also fake. I pretty much tried everything and it's all fake. So I'm really sorry for those guys who really, really wanted to play it. But I'm sorry guys, but I can officially confirm that it is fake. Also, um, and, and again, obviously I checked Steam and there was absolutely nothing. So yeah, let's theorize about the um, nightmare thing. I have absolutely no idea what the heck this means. And I have no clue if this could like symbolize that you're actually dreaming while you're playing the game. Maybe, like I said earlier, it's probably the scariest game in the installation. It's the scariest installation to the series. Maybe he's even gonna make it live action. Now that'd be, <laughs> that'd be friggin' cool, man. So let's just hope that he's gonna be able to do that. And <laughs> that'd be great if he actually made it live action. Or of course, this could be one of his silly pranks or something. I mean, I don't see that as a good reason, but it's definitely possible that he's actually gonna start doing this again. But of course, I really just don't know. We all really don't know. We don't know if he's gonna make another installation to the series. We don't know if he's gonna make a Five Nights at Freddy's 5. Hopefully he's gonna make a Five Nights at Freddy's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Such and such and such. So, yeah, really, I just really hope he's going to make another installation to the series. It's a really good game. You guys should all check it out. Hopefully, this is all going to be a really, a real, something real. Yeah, guys, that's really my theory, and I fear that it will be somewhat helpful. So, yeah, uh, cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully he does release something. Yeah, that's really it. Bye, guys.